So many students have given up on their dreams of studying abroad because they have believed in some misconceptions about studying abroad. Moving to a new country to live and study is a huge step to take. There is no doubt about it. You know, the journey from first considering a program to study and going through all the process may appear to be long hurdles. You might also be thinking, should I still continue with this study abroad thing with all the obstacles surrounding you? Well, the truth is the idea of studying abroad can be scary, difficult, but then is achievable. In this video, I'll be debunking some misconceptions about studying abroad and reasons why they shouldn't deter you from achieving your study abroad dreams. I believe after watching this video, you'll be encouraged and also have a change of mind. If you like this kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and your loved ones, and keep watching. The first misconception I'll be debunking is studying abroad is too expensive, is only meant for the rich. This is the famous myth of studying abroad, but hey, don't believe it. Studying anywhere comes with a cost, right? Whether you're studying in your home country or in a different country. However, studying abroad can cost a fortune, but not always. In some countries, it's expensive, while in some other countries, it's affordable, just like Portugal. I can put it to you that some programs in a lot of Portuguese universities cost as much as or less than your home tuition. The truth is, if you're planning on traveling abroad for study and you don't have any money saved somewhere, you would have to do a lot of financial planning and budgeting. When my husband and I started planning this study abroad thing, we didn't have any money saved somewhere. We were newly married and we're just trying to find our feet. But then we did a lot of financial planning and research. We researched about affordable countries, affordable universities, you know, the programs, duration, and we were so resilient about it. And all this made our dreams a reality. Another good thing is study abroad experience is growing in popularity. More and more opportunities for financial support are becoming available, mostly for international students. You know, so many universities are now offering scholarships specifically for international students who want to come to their university to study. For instance, a lot of Portuguese universities now consider international students for scholarship. For some of them, you have to apply separately, Why a lot of them is offered based on merit. What this means is, as they are reviewing your application for admission, they also consider you for scholarship. The second misconception a lot of students have believed in is, only students with high GPAs can study abroad. That's a big lie, guys. Don't even believe that. Students with variety of GPAs can study abroad. You will always find schools or universities that can offer you admission. Getting admission abroad does not only depend on your um, academic performance, but also on your profile. Even if you have low GPA, like a third class, you can always make up with your profile, like your skills, your experience, and some of the certifications you've done. I've seen an international student with a third class get admission in Portugal. It's all about packaging your profile and ensure you apply on time. There's also this misconception of it's very difficult getting accepted or it's difficult getting admission. That's a lie, guys. Don't believe that. If you have the minimum qualification like SSCE, BSc, or MSc, you have the knowledge of entry requirements and all essential documents, follow the instruction and complete the application process as instructed by the university you are applying to, you would be offered admission. Just last two months, a lot of my subscribers got admission to study in Portugal. Just by watching and following up my informative videos on study in Portugal and making more research by themselves. It's all about finding programs that best meet your needs and qualifications. 
I have a video where I talked about documents required when applying for admission in Portugal. I'll be leaving the link up in the card and I'll also leave it in my description box. I would encourage you to watch that video. It's going to be of help to you. Nevertheless, if you think you need a one-on-one -on -one guide or you want to have a clarity section with me on study in Portugal, you can send me an email at immigratewithami at gmail.com showing right on the screen or you can follow me on Instagram. Here is my Instagram handle and we will see how to help you. But to be honest, if you follow my videos and make more research by yourself, you would be able to do the application by yourself. The fourth misconception so many students have believed in is one needs to be fluent in the country's language before one can be able to study in that country. That's not true either. I don't believe it. I understand that language barrier is a reason or one of the reasons why so many people wouldn't want to study abroad, mostly in a country like Portugal or other European countries, because they'll be thinking if they can't speak and understand the language, how can they study in that country? But then majority of study abroad programs are all designed for students of all language levels. For instance, if you're coming into Portugal for study and you're going for any program in the medical field or law, um, um, social work or education, please keep in mind that programs in this field are only taught in Portuguese language, which means you have to be fluent in Portuguese for you to be offered admission in any of this field. Also, non-English speaking countries like Portugal have a lot of English programs designed for international students who speak English. I have made some videos about English taught programs in Portugal. I'll leave one of the link up here and I'll leave some of them in my description box so you can watch them if you haven't seen those videos. They will be of help to you. In a nutshell, it's all about finding a program that is specifically in your language. Therefore, language barriers shouldn't stop you from achieving your study abroad dreams. The fifth misconception so many students have believed in is you can't work while studying abroad. That's a big lie, guys. Don't believe it. I live in Portugal, right? And Portuguese government allows international students to work, mostly for MSc or PhD students. If you're studying in Portugal and you've got your residence permit, it allows you to work. It's automatic. That card is your gateway to applying for any job in Portugal. You can apply for a graduate job in any multinational company. But please ensure you are capable enough to handle both studying and working at the same time. I have a detailed video where I talked about studying and working in Portugal. I'll be leaving the link up here and I will also leave it in my description box. That video is going to blow your mind. Please ensure you watch it if you haven't seen it. Therefore, if you're planning on traveling abroad for study, please ensure you go for a country that allows international students to work while studying. The sixth misconception so many students have also believed in is one needs to be very intelligent before one can study abroad. No, this is not true. Do not believe it either. One of the challenges so many people have, mostly people from Africa, is that their environment do not permit them to bring out their best academically, therefore making them believe that they are not intelligent while they are super intelligent. The academic environment here in Portugal is easier and it helps you to develop your potentials. Another thing you can do is to surround yourself with peers, you know, people who are intelligent, more intelligent than you are, and also form like a study group. Believe me, you will do pretty well studying in Portugal. And another thing with Portuguese University is that they encourage students who try and really want to learn. Some students have also believed that foreign students are treated differently. This is not true, guys. Do not believe it. In any university abroad, mostly in Portugal, international students are treated, respected, and taught in the same way as the local ones. 
there are no differences in teaching and as an international student with good grades and performance you will be appreciated no matter the country you come from foreign students can also benefit at any time from support or guidance for the future or during their studies every student has equal chances of obtaining study in portugal or anywhere in the world in conclusion it's not impossible to travel abroad for study the earlier you plan the wide range of study abroad options you have please do not allow these misconceptions to deter you from you know making your dreams a reality keep being strong keep going sometimes in the future you will look back and you feel so amazed by how much you've grown by the end of your program I hope this video inspires and helps you to overcome your fears. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a big thumbs up. That way you'll be supporting my channel. Also subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends and your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>